Back in October, Louisville Mayor Greg Fisher announced that Louisville was one of eight cities selected for nationwide Say Yes COVID test program. At-home testing was then available for 16 targeted zip codes. Those interested could pick up their tests from a community center or order online. Now the Biden administration is gearing up to expand access to at-home testing. It's one target in a plan to tackle the pandemic within the winter months. WHS 11's Bobby McSwine has been talking to a Louisville teacher who relies on at-home testing and experts who break down how useful they really are. Rebecca Wells Gonzalez says she's not willing to risk the health of her students or her family. That's why she takes this at home test every Monday. Normally I do this at my desk <laughs> and it's a little more organized. She teaches at Ivy Tech Community College in Butler High School. Knowing if I have COVID is kind of important, even when masking, even with vaccination. Gonzalez says testing so often puts her mind at ease, especially because I'm pregnant and so that's got another layer of stress. That's why she signed up as soon as the city started offering the free at home test. Swab both nostrils with the same swab and she made sure her neighbors knew about it. We live in a community with a lot of elderly people. They're still not comfortable going to grocery stores and stuff like that. So for them, this allows them to, if someone's gonna come into their home, it allows them to give them a rapid test on the porch to make sure that they're protected. They're good tests, they're, they're not great tests. That's so Dr. Alan Junkins, chief of microbiology with Norton Healthcare. Uh, you have to have a lot of virus before they're gonna be positive. So if you're asymptomatic, the test might not be the best, but Junkin says you can combat that by testing again one to two days later. So by adding the serial testing in, uh, you get a little bit more confidence in it. U of L's Dr. Mark Burns says it's important to follow the directions closely. Like Junkins, he says despite it being an imperfect science, it's worth it. Someone that has symptoms, regardless vaccinated or not, they need to be tested. And at-home testing is probably going to be the easiest way to get it done. As for Gonzalez, yay, it's negative, yay. <laughs> and she'll make sure of that twice a week for however long she has to. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11 on your side.